So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after kong i-discuss yung rectangular coordinate system, yung linear equations in two variables, and then yung slope of a line, and then yung previous video lesson ko which is uh, ang pagsulat ng linear equation from standard form to slope intercept form and vice versa. So lahat po na napag-aralan natin ngayon is i-apply natin for this particular video lesson which is we will be graphing linear equations. So, makikita nyo dito kung paano ginagrap yung linear equations. So, ma-apply dito lahat ng mga itinuro ko sa mga previous video lessons ko. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objective, we will grab a linear equation using any two points, x and y intercepts, and then slope and a point on the line. So, kung makikita nyo, there are three ways on how to grab a linear equation. So, iisa-isahin ko po yung mga ways na yan. So, we start with two points, and then yung x and y intercepts, and then finally yung slope and a point in the line. So, let's start. So, let's have the first method using two points. So, one method of graphing a linear equation is using two points. In geometry, two points determine a line. Since the graph of a linear equation is a line, then two points are enough to draw the graph. Okay. So, isang paraan po ng pag-graph is using two points. Okay, ito yung paggamit ng x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. And then sa geometry kasi, kapag 2 points, madedetermine natin na line yon. Okay, so since yung graph ng linear equation from the word uh, root word line nung sa linear, so we can therefore uh, use 2 points to graph the linear equation. So dalawang points lang, pwede na natin i-graph yung linear equation. So, you may assign any real numbers to x. Okay, so yung two points na sinasabi ko po, any real number siya. It can be positive, negative. So, basta uh, real number po. And then, for each assigned value of x, compute for the value of y. Okay, so kapag nag-assign uh, na tayo ng value, values of x, so ang gagawin lang natin, isa-substitute natin yung value ng x dun sa equation. And then, compute natin yung value ng Y. So, after natin makompute yung value ng Y, syempre meron na tayong X and Y coordinates. So, dalawang points yon. So, ipaplat na natin yung points dun sa coordinate plane. So, remember, kailangan po 2 points para mag natin yung linear equation. So, let's have example number 1. Graph the equation Y is equal to 3X plus 1. Okay. So, yung equation natin is written in slope-intercept form. So, based dito sa given equation natin, masasabi natin na yung slope natin is 3. Okay, so positive slope po. So, pero hindi yun yung pakay natin. So, yung pakay natin dito is mag-assign tayo ng 2 points. So, ang i-assign ko pong points dito, negative 1 and 1. Okay. So, una muna, x equals negative 1. So, yung ating equation, y is equal to 3x plus 1. So, isa-substitute lang po natin yung x equals negative 1 dun sa equation. So, in place of x. Hindi po dun sa in place of y. So, magiging y equals 3 times negative 1 plus 1. Next, y equals, so the product of 3 and negative 1 is negative 3 plus 1. So, we add negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2. It's because we follow the sign of the bigger value and then we proceed to subtraction. So, upon substituting negative 1, ang nakuha nating value of y is negative 2. So, yung isang point na pwede nating uh, i-plot sa coordinate plane, negative 1 and negative 2. Okay. Next, if x equals 1, okay, so ganun pa rin, isa-substitute natin yung x, or the value of x dun sa equation. So, y is equal to 3 times the value of x, which is 1, plus 1, and then y equals 3 times 1, that is 3, plus 1, so that is 4. So, kapag sinubstitute natin yung value of x, which is 1, yung makakuha nating value of y is 4. So, yung other point natin, 1 and 4. So, meron na po tayong 2 points. Okay, so, yung una nating point, negative 1 and negative 2. And then, yung pangalawang point natin is 1 and 4. So, since may dalawang points na tayo, pwede na po nating 
uh, i-graph yung linear equation na y is equal to 3x plus 1. So, we plot the points negative 1, negative 2, and 1, 4. So, ito po yung mga points na nakuha natin kanina. And then, drawing tayo ng Cartesian coordinate plane. So, ayan po siya. So, make sure yung Cartesian plane po natin meron siyang y-axis and x-axis. At the same time, meron dyan syempre yung origin and then yung mga negative integers and positive integers. Okay? So, ang una muna natin ipa-plot is negative 1, negative 2. Again, pag nagpa-plot tayo ng points, nauuna muna tayo sa x and then y. Okay? So, yung negative 1 and negative 2, ayan po siya. Okay? So, x coordinate negative 1. And then, yung negative 2 naman is yung y, coord y coordinate. So, pangalanan natin, negative 1 and negative 2. Next, 1 and 4 naman, so, yan po yung 1 and 4. So, pangalanan ulit natin, ayan. So, since nakaplat na yung 2 points, so, pwede na po nating i-drawing yung straight line. So, gawa lang po tayo, drawing lang po tayo ng straight line. So, as you can see, ayan, yung ating uh, line, uh, increasing, increasing siya from left to right. It's because positive slope po. So, ito po yung equation ng line natin, which is y is equal to 3x plus 1. So, yan lang po yung paraan ng pag-graph ng linear equation using two points. So, let's have the example number 2. Graph the equation x plus y is equal to 4. So, as you can see, yung ating equation written in standard form po siya. ax plus by is equal to c. So, ang i-assign po nating points dito, 0 and 2. So, again, sa pag-assign po ng values of x, pwede po siyang any real number. Okay, so, negative siya, parehong negative, parehong positive, 0 and negative, 0 and positive, wala pong problema as long as real number po. Okay, so, usually kapag nag assign tayo ng values of x, yung mas mababa muna. Okay, so, let's start. If x is equal to 0, so, x plus y equals 4. And then, we substitute the value of x, which is 0. So, magiging 0 plus y equals 4. So, and then, y is equal to 4. So, upon substituting x equals 0 to the equation, so, the value of y is 4. So, yung una nating point, 0 and 4. Next, if x is equal to 2. So, x plus y equals 4. And then, the value of x, which is 2, plus y, equals 4. And then, itong 2 na to, kailangan natin ilipat sa right side. So, ang gagawin po natin, magsusubtract tayo ng 2 to both sides. So, magiging 2 plus y minus 2 equals 4 minus 2. So, and then, y is equal to 4 minus 2, that is 2. So, upon substituting x equals 2, ang nakuha po nating value of y is 2. So, yung pangalawang point po natin, 2 and then 2. So, since meron na tayong dalawang points, 0, 4, and then 2 and 2, pwede na po nating i-draw yung graph ng linear equation. So, again, we will plot the points 0, 4, yung unang point natin, and then yung 2 and 2 yung pangalawang point natin sa Cartesian plane. Okay. So, 0 and 4. So, we start dun sa origin and then, itatapat natin dun sa 4 na nasa y-axis. So, yung pag-plot po ng 0, 4, ito po siya. Okay. So, hindi po siya makikita sa quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4. So, makikita po yung 0, 4 sa y-axis. Okay, next, yung 2, 2 naman, so dahil parehong positive po yan, nasa quadrant 1 po yan. So, ito po siya. And then, since nakaplot na yung points natin, ang gagawin lang natin is, i-coconnect natin yung mga points using a line. So, ayan po. So, as you can see, yung ating um, uh, graph decreasing siya from left to right. So, it's because yung slope po kasi natin is negative. 
So, ayan po yung equation po natin, which is x plus y is equal to 5. Next, what about using x and y intercepts? So, familiar na kayo sa paggamit ng x and y intercepts. So, kung hindi, irerecall lang natin ulit kung paano ang process ng paggamit ng x and y intercepts sa paggraph ng linear equation. So, the x and y intercepts may also be used to graph a linear equation since they are two points. Okay. So, since sabi ko nga kanina, two points, pwede na natin i-graph yung linear equation. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin, we set y equal to 0 to obtain the x-intercept. And then, we set x to 0 to obtain the y-intercept. So, let's have example number 1. Graph the equation x plus 4y is equal to 4. So, ang una muna natin kukunin is x-intercept. So, kapag x-intercept ang ating kinukuha, we set y to 0. Okay, so y equals 0. And then, we write the given equation, x plus 4, y equals 4. And then, in place of y, isa substitute natin yung 0. So, magiging x plus 4 times 0 equals 4. And then, x plus the product of 4 and 0 is 0. Any number multiplied to 0, the answer is 0. So, x plus 0 equals 4. And then, x equals 4. So, nung sinubstitute po natin yung y is equal to 0, ang nakuha po nating value of x is 4. So, paano natin ipapangalanan yung x-intercept natin? So, syempre, mauuna yung 4. Kasi x, coordinate. And then, yung 0, yung y coordinate. So, meron na tayong isang point. So, yung next natin kukunin is y-intercept. So, kung kanina, we set y to 0. So, ngayon naman, we set x to 0. So, magiging ganito po siya. So, sulat lang natin yung equation. And then, we substitute the value of x, which is 0, to the equation. So, magiging 0 plus 4y equals 4. And then, 4y equals 4. So, we divide both sides by 4. So, the value of y is 1. So, yung pangalawang point po natin, 0 and 1. Okay, so, sa x-intercept po, ang technique po dyan, para hindi kayo nalilito sa 0, kapag x-intercept, nasa huli po yung 0. Kapag naman y-intercept, nasa una yung 0. So, meron na tayong dalawang points, 4, 0 and 0, 1. So, pwede na natin i-plot yung linear equation. So, yan, i-plot natin yung nakuha nating points kanina, 4, 0, and 0, 1 sa Cartesian plane. Okay. So, kapag intercepts lang po yung ating pinaplat sa Cartesian plane, nasa coordinate axis lang po yan. Okay. So, una muna, 4, 0. Ayan po yung 4, 0. Okay. So, mag-start tayo sa 4, dun sa x-axis, and then itatapat natin sa 0, sa origin. Okay. So, ayan po yung 4, 0. And then, yung 0, 1 naman, mag-start tayo sa origin, 0, and then yung 1 nasa y-axis. So, ito po ang 0, 1. So, since nakaplot na yung 2 points natin, ang gagawin natin next is, i-coconnect natin yung points using a line. So, ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung graph natin is decreasing from left to right. It's because yung slope natin is negative. So, yan po yung equation natin. So, yung graph ng x plus 4y is equal to 4. So, let's have example number 2. Graph the equation 2x minus 5y is equal to 10. Okay? So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, so, we set y to 0 sa x-intercept, and then we set x to 0 kapag naman y-intercept. So, una muna, x-intercept. So, y is equal to 0. And then, we write the given equation to x minus 5y equals 10. And then, we substitute y is equal to 0 to the equation. So, 2x minus 5 times 0 is equal to 10. 
and then 2x minus 0 equals 10. Finally, 2x is equal to 10. So, we divide both sides by 2 para makancel yung numerical coefficient ng x. So, the value of x is 5. Okay? So, yung x-intercept po natin, sulat na lang natin dito, 5n, 0. What about y-intercept? Okay? So, we set x to 0. Then, we write the equation. So, isa-substitute natin yung value ng x, which is 0 sa equation. So, magiging 2 times 0 minus 5y equals 10. And then, 2 times 0, that is 0, minus 5y equals 10. And then, negative 5y equals 10. Ayan po. So, we divide both sides by negative 5. So, kapag negative po yung numerical coefficient ng y, o kahit x man, kailangan po natin i-divide yung negative na yon. Kasi kailangan po positive po lagi yung x tsaka y. So, divide natin sa negative 5. So, the value of y is negative 2. So, paano natin susulat yung y-intercept? Siyempre, nauuna yung 0. And then, negative 2. So, meron na po tayong dalawang points. 5, 0. Tsaka 0, negative 2. So, pwede na po natin yung i-plot sa coordinate plane. So, ayan. Yung mga points natin. 5, 0. And then, 0, negative 2. So, yung 5, 0. Ayan po. Nasa x-axis. And then, yung 0, negative 2 naman, nasa y-axis. And then, since nakaplot na nga yung dalawang points, i-connect lang natin yan using a line. Ayan. So, as you can see, yung graph po ng equation natin, uh, increasing from left to right. Dahil yung ating slope is positive. Okay, tandaan nyo po kapag increasing from left to right, positive slope. Kapag naman decreasing from left to right, negative slope. So, yan po yung equation ng 2x minus 5y is equal to 10. So, ganyan lang po yung pag-graph ng linear equation using x and y intercepts. So, I hope clear po sa inyo yung process ng uh, paggamit ng x and y intercepts. So, yung last method natin, using a slope and a point. So, by using this method, plot the given point first and then find the other point using the slope. Remember, slope is obtained by getting the quotient of the rise and the run. Okay. So, kapag ginamit natin yung method na to, ang una muna natin ipa-plot is yung given point. Okay. And then, kapag na-plot na natin yung point sa Cartesian plane, hahanapin ngayon natin yung isa pang point using the slope. So, remember, yung pagkuha ng slope, rise over run. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, basta unahin muna natin i-plot yung given point and then yung slope. So, let's start. So, graph the equation 2x plus y is equal to 3 and plot the point 2, negative 1. So, let's identify the slope. Okay. So, yung given equation natin is 2x plus y equals 3. So, transform natin yung standard form of equation na yan into slope-intercept form para makita natin yung slope. So, ang mangyayari, isusubtract natin yung 2x from both sides para mailipat yung 2x sa kabila. So, magiging 2x plus y minus 2x equals 3 minus 2x. And then, y is equal to, rewrite lang natin yung 3 minus 2x as negative 2x plus 3. So, ayan na po yung ating equation. Nakasulat na po sa slope-intercept form. So, we can now determine the slope of the given equation. So, since yung slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, ibig sabihin yung coefficient ng x dito, yun yung slope. Kasi m yun. So, our slope is negative 2. So, negative slope po tayo. So, and then, yung given point natin, 2n, negative 1. 
So, pwede na po natin i-plot yung point and then yung slope. Okay. So, para mas mabilis lang, yung slope natin is negative 2. So, di ba yung slope, rise over run siya. So, ibig sabihin yung rise natin dito is negative 2. And then yung run natin is 1. Okay. So, let's start. So, plot natin yung 2, negative 1 muna. So, yung 2, negative 1 nasa quadrant 4. Okay. So, ayan po yung 2, negative 1. And then, yung slope natin is negative 2. So, rise over run nga. So, sulat ulit natin dito. Rise over run. So, magiging negative 2 over 1. Okay. So, paano yon? So, ayan yung run niya. And then, yung rise naman, dalawa. Okay? And then, kapag huminto tayo doon, i-plot natin yung points na yun. Okay? So, huminto po tayo sa 1, 1. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo po, ito po yung rise. And then, ito naman po yung run. Okay, so yung rise natin is negative 2 since pababa po tayo ng uh, direction. And then yung run naman natin, going to the right, ayan, 1 po. So and then, since nakaplot na yung 1, 1, yung isang point natin using the slope nga, i-connect lang po natin yan. So ayan po yung uh, graph ng linear equation sa given equation natin. So yan po yung 2x plus y is equal to 3. So, as you can see, decreasing siya from left to right, it's because the given slope is negative, which is negative 2. Then, for our last example, graph the equation y is equal to 3x minus 7 and passes through the point 1, negative 4. So, since yung ating equation is nakasulat na sa slope-intercept form, it would be easy for us to identify the slope. So, the coefficient of x is 3. Therefore, the slope is 3. And 3 is positive. So, sulat lang natin. Rise over run siya. So, magiging 3 over 1. So, let's uh, plot the points. So, ayan. So, 1 and negative 4 nasa quadrant 4. So, ayan po yung 1 and negative 4. And then, yung slope natin is 3. So, sulat lang ulit natin. Rise over run. So, 3 over 1. So, akyat tayo ng tatlo. And then, uh, pupunta tayo ng right direction one step. So, paano yon? Isa, dalawa, Tatlo. And then, after nun, liliko tayo papuntang right, isa. And then, kung saan tayo minto, i-plot natin yung point. So, minto po tayo sa 2, negative 1. So, since meron na tayong dalawang points, pwede na po natin yan i-connect. Ayan. So, yan po yung equation na y is equal to 3x minus 7. So, after natin i-graph yung linear equations, so using two points, using the x and y intercepts, and then yung using a slope and a point, so our next video lesson will, will be describing the graphs of linear equations. Okay, so from the word describe, okay, so titignan natin kung uh, paano ba yung trend ng graph based sa given equation. So, mas makikilala nyo po dyan yung types of slope. So, there are four types of slope po kasi. Positive, negative, zero, and undefined. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.